The animals on the Ocean Tracks interface were tagged using several different kinds of electronic tags. The type of tag selected for each animal is based on the nature of the animal's movements in the ocean. Animals that spend a lot of time at the ocean's surface, such as seabirds and marine mammals, are tracked using satellite telemetry tags, including spot tags and satellite relay data loggers. These tags work like GPS units, where recorded distances from several satellites orbiting the Earth's surface are used to triangulate the position of the animal. This process is known as satellite telemetry and results in a position estimate that can be accurate to within about 50 meters of where the animal actually is. The Laysan albatross and elephant seals on the ocean tracks interface were tracked with tags that use satellite telemetry. These tags record a lot of data, including, in some instances, multiple positions per day. The Ocean Tracks interface only displays one position per day for each individual, represented here by the larger dots. The small dots you see in between are simply lines drawn between each daily position. Because the albatross travel farther in a day than the other animals on the interface, their tracks appear to have sharper angles than the other tracks. Animals that spend most of their time underwater cannot be tracked using tags that rely on satellites because radio signals don't transmit through water. These species are tracked using archival tags, which are inserted in the body cavity of the animal, or satellite pop-up archival tags, which are attached to the outside of the animal. These tags have a flexible stock that sits outside of the animal's body. This stock has very precise sensors that record the temperature of the seawater and the level of light in the vicinity of the animal. External or seawater temperature and light level data can then be used to determine the animal's position. Light levels recorded every 5 to 60 seconds, shown here in blue, are used to calculate the precise time that local noon has occurred. Local noon is defined as the time that the sun is highest in the sky at a given location. Because local noon occurs at a unique time along each line of longitude, this information can be used to determine the longitudinal location of each individual for each day. Scientists then use the seawater temperature data recorded by the tag, shown here in red, to determine the animal's latitudinal position. To do so, Scientists compare the seawater temperature recorded by the tag near the surface of the ocean on that day to sea surface temperature recorded by satellites along the predetermined line of longitude. Wherever the temperature matches is a possible line of latitude where the animal was. Scientists then use a mathematical model to determine which line of latitude within that temperature range is most likely given the direction of the animal's track. This process results in a position estimate that is less accurate than positions recorded with satellite tags. Estimates are generally accurate to within about 100 kilometers in a longitudinal direction and 200 kilometers in a latitudinal direction. This process is known as light-based geolocation. Tags that use light-based geolocation to generate daily position estimates were used to track the bluefin tuna and white sharks shown on the ocean tracks interface. For these animals, only one position per day is displayed in the same way as for albatross and elephant seals.